this video let us see about the topological sorting so topological sorting is an ordering of vertices in a directed acyclic graph so what does mean by a directed acyclic graph is a graph with directions and the graph should not have any cycle so say that this is not an cyclic graph because we don't have a cycle for this graph say this is node a b and c fine so this topological sorting cannot be applied if the graph has a cycle okay so let us consider an example of where we can apply the topological sort so say that you have to take the course prerequisite structure at the university say for example only if you complete the course u then you will be able to take up the course v so say you have a directed edge from u to v so it indicates that the course u must be completed before you take up the course v now so every uh, directed acyclic graph will have at least one or more topological ordering so it is that if a graph is a directed acyclic graph it will have a one or more topological ordering and this topological sort cannot be applied as i have mentioned earlier to the graph which has a cycle now let us see how to uh, perform the topological uh, ordering or topological sorting for a directed acyclic graph so this is the given graph to us now first step is that we have to find out the step one is to find the n degree of every nodes of the uh, graph okay so n degree of every vertex or every node of the graph we have to calculate it so how do we calculate the n degree what does mean by n degree of any node it is the incoming edges say that you have a node b so the number of incoming edges we call it as the n degree so if there is only one edge to node b say for example now the n degree of node b is 1 whereas the n degree of node a is 0 so this is how we calculate the n degree of any uh, node okay fine now let us similarly calculate the n degree for the uh, given graph so the n degree for the step 1 here is that the for node b it is 0 because the there is no incoming edge here now let us do for node e for node e the incoming edge is 1 for node a the incoming edge is only 1 for node c what is the number of incoming edges it is 3 incoming edges and the n degree is 3 and for node d there are 2 incoming edges and the n degree is 2 now what is our step 2 our step 2 is to remove the node which has got the n degree as 0 along with its edges okay so we have to remove the node with the n degree 0 along with its edges fine so now what is a node which has got the n degree as a 0 it is only node b okay fine so now let us remove the uh, edge which has got the n degree as 0 okay so we are going to remove this node along with its edges fine so let us just redraw the uh, diagram again so now our graph will be looking like with node e then node a node c node d fine so both the edges and the nodes are remote okay the node b is remote and the edges of it is remote now let us again calculate the n degree for every node of this uh, graph now for node e what is the n degree the n degree of node e is going to be zero for n degree of node a the number of edges incoming edges this only one and what about node c the number of incoming edges is two and what about node d the number of incoming edges is two now which node has got an n degree uh, 0 it is the e node fine so now we have to delete the node e along with its edges fine so we will delete this now what will be the updated tree so in parallel yeah we have to write down the sequence of ordering so let us write down here so first the node b has got an n degree and we have deleted the edges and the node so let us write in sequence and then we have deleted the node e 
find so let us write down in the output sequence the topological ordering to find now coming to this let us now redraw the graph so we have got only c now and the vertex a then vertex d and c fine now let us find out the uh, incoming um, edges to node c and let us find the n degree so here the n degree of node c is 1 and what's the n degree of node d it is 2 what's the n degree of node a node a it is 0 fine so let us choose the node which has got the n degree 0 and let us eliminate its edges so now in sequence let us write down that the next node is e fine so we have removed now the the node a with the edges now let us just redraw this diagram so how our node is going to be only just c and d and now let us find out the n degree of node c the node c is n degree is 0 for node 1 it is 1 now let us delete the node c along with its edges and now we will write down in the uh, sequence so let us write down the node c fine and a last node what is uh, which is left out is the node d so let us write down node d and the n degree for this node d is now just zero okay so if it is zero now let us delete the node and it has not got any edges so let us write down in the sequence the node d so this is the topological ordering for the given graph and uh, what about its uh, time complexity is the running time of this uh, topological sort the order of vertex plus edges okay fine and some of the few applications of topological uh, sort is it can be used to detect the uh, deadlock for detecting the uh, deadlock and then for representing the course prerequisites of the university so this topological sort can be uh, used so this is all about the topological sorting uh, method